No matter how many times you see it, it's still excruciating. Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Senator Mitch McConnell freezes during a media conference this week. A disturbing repeat of what happened to the 81-year-old Republican just a month ago. The congressional doctors soon cleared the senator to return to work. But questions remain. We've gotten so little information from uh, Mitch McConnell's uh, physician, and that's fine. I mean, health information is private. I think uh, American citizens have more of a right to know about uh, his health and whether he's up to the job or not. Congress today is older than it's ever been, with the average age in the Senate 65 and in the House 58. And there are three senators older than Mitch McConnell. Democrat Dianne Feinstein is 90, Republican Chuck Grassley is 89 and Independent Bernie Sanders is about to turn 82. Do you think there should be any kind of age limits? There should be. What, where would you set that? I would set it 40 to 65. I think it should be based on the person to be judged. I mean, whoever's running. It's more of a, a cognitive decision, you know, can they mentally, are they capable of making smart decisions for everybody? Whatever happens with Mitch McConnell, age is an issue for voters heading into 2024. According to a survey released this week, three quarters of Americans think Joe Biden is too old to be re-elected, whereas Donald Trump's age bothers them less. As far as we know, Joe Biden is making very good choices as president and he's living up to he's up to the job. As far as we know, Donald Trump is very much up to the job. He's energetic. Right. So I think it really depends on the individual and not on some arbitrary age. Anything else you want to say? Or should we go back? A situation the 77 year old likely challenger will be certain to exploit. Barbara Miller, ABC News, Washington. Let's go back to